satisfy me. I don't know why uh, whatever I ate for breakfast or didn't eat for breakfast made me so hungry for lunch. That's the other thing that people miss, right? They think that meals are independent of one another, but they don't realize this whole idea of the second meal effect, which basically means what you eat or don't eat for breakfast directly impacts what you crave to eat, how much you eat and what you will eat for lunch and which directly impacts how much you eat, what you crave to eat for dinner. And so that's how come some of these questions about like, should I do keto or should I do intermittent fasting or all this kind of stuff? I go, well, if you skip breakfast and you get to lunch, does that make you more likely to have a large pizza, boo-boo burrito and a pint of ice cream? Or are you still able to have a sensible, healthy, low calorie meal? And if you answer, no, it makes me crave and eat all this junk food, then I'm like, then that's not working for you. It's throwing your hormones out of balance. However, if you go through that and you're able to eat sensibly and create a nice calorie deficit at the end of the day and the end of the week, then I say, keep doing that. And again, this goes back to that whole idea of don't let, you, don't let your bias get in the way here. Just because you read a book on intermittent fasting and are all excited about it doesn't mean your metabolism is going to be excited about it. You got to let your metabolism decide instead of letting your sort of wants and desires decide, if that makes sense.